Hey guys, AWR Elite here. I'm a bit annoyed at the moment. I just actually did another recording of this, but I watched a video, and because I'm using Fraps to have my mic in as well, um, I just watched the video and I, there wasn't any sound coming out. Um, and I looked at my little control uh, panel on my headset, and my mic was muted, and I just fucking raged. So, um, that's beside the point. Anyway, <laughs> I've um come up with a. Well, it's just another redstone video. I've just come up with a combination lock uh, that's basically completely hack proof, unless you know the combination. And I'm fairly proud of it myself, to be honest. Because uh, I don't think anything like this has really been done on YouTube before. Um, like, I saw a similar video. It took up about f five times the size of it. And it was really complicated. And I was basically just like, fuck that, I'm making my own one. And I came up with this. So if I... The combination four, three, two, one. But if I just put in uh, his on-off switch and reset, if I just put in one, two, three, four, it'll just turn back off. It'll reset everything. But if you get the combination right, four, three, two, one, door will open. Uh, so I've just used. I've used the concept of RS null latches and uh, repeaters only going the one way quite a lot here, but it's really paid off. So basically, um, we'll just uh, any button it goes through two signals. Uh, one's to the resetting system here, and the other one's to the actual combination. Now, if you know how an actual combination lock works, this just skip ahead I guess uh, I'll probably have an annotation telling you where to skip to um, but with um these um, combination locks what you could um, you'd have to have these linked up in order um, so I have four linked up to this one three linked up to this one two linked up to this one and one linked up to this one oh and in case you don't know what an RS null latch is that's just like a um this is my version. This is not how most people do it, but I do mine like this because it's smaller. Um, this is just an RS null latch. Basically, when one signal is turned on or powered, uh, I'll just put a torch here, it'll stay on until the other signal has um, been turned on or this one here has, a, has a, a signal going into it like this and it'll turn off and it doesn't matter if that's turned off or anything just as long as this one's turned on again. So it's basically like a switch but out of redstone and it's redstone activated as well. And it has basically two sides and however out they probably have one or two outputs. Anyway, so when these are all turned off in order because there's a repeater going through them, keeping them on until they're turned off in order you could just keep spamming at the numbers without pressing reset and you'd eventually get it. Um, so, I've tried to go against that. Um, what I've come up with is this little system here. Uh, so, yeah, the signal's just going under there. Um, so, this signal here, uh, so they don't fuck around with each other. I've just used um, repeaters. Anyway, this signal here goes under here, which will turn this signal off. Turn this torch under here on, and then it will power all these signals here, which will turn these lanterns on, and turn these torches off. When these torches are turned off, it'll turn this torch on, so it's just basically one big AND gate, and it'll add a bit of delay, and then go through and turn all these back on. So, when one's activated, it will look like this. So, it all, um, and also when um, this comes back through, it also resets along here. Uh, but when you actually get the combination right, it, it'll give it just enough time to invert this torch. 
Ah, uh, it's already turned on. Let me reset that quickly. Um, yeah, it'll give it just enough time to uh, turn on. So that's why it's got a bit of delay here. And then this is just, now it's no action. And as I've said before, it doesn't matter if the source is taken away because this is now its current source. Um, it'll stay on until you hit the reset button. And it just has another AND gate here, which means all, when all when the torches on top get turned off, this one will get turned on. And it's just linked up to a piston door. I have a piston door tutorial on this channel as well. Um, so the re so um, just so the signal here doesn't actually reset this RS null latch every time as well. I've just linked it up to the reset button and once again use the concept of redstone repeaters going the one direction and it will all work here but when you press the reset button it also resets along the combination as well so that's basically what I've come up with it's I don't as I've said I don't know if anybody's beat me to this but I think this is the first one of this size because this is really freaking small Here's like a smaller version of the actual resetting system. That's not even that big, to be honest. Like, and then it just all resets. It works perfectly. Um, yeah, but as I said, I'm not sure if anybody's beat me to this. I hope anybody hasn't, because this will probably get really popular. <laughs> and who doesn't want popularity on YouTube? But, uh, that's all I really wanted to share with you guys today. Um, so I hope you liked the video. Uh, just, you know, like this video. Give me a comment telling me what you think. Uh, you know, you can add it to your favourites if you want, but, uh. <laughs> And, uh, I guess subscribe and I'll release more redstone videos and maybe even more Call of Duty videos because I really like my Call of Duty at the moment. So, uh, thanks for watching uh, once again. And this is AWL8. And bye.